Okay, so first of all, I'm going to create a new repository on GitHub for this. So I'm just going to call it Disney Clone YT for YouTube. And then it's going to be a public profile and I'm going to just create the repository. So now I have a few commands here that I could do. So all I'm going to do is copy this here. I am in my YouTube folder now on my terminal. So all I'm going to do is git clone and paste in the link that I have here. So now press enter. And now if I press LS, I now have my Disney clone YT folder. So now I just need to move into that. So CD Disney clone YT, press enter and LS again. So now I'm going to install the app so i'm going to install next.js and typescript with styled components so if i paste in with yarn create next app with typescript and i'm also going to bring in styled components and there is an example for this so if we just add dash dash example with styled components it does the initial setup of style components for us it adds all the configurations into the next.js file structure for us so if I press enter, it now prompts to give a project name. So I'm just going to name this Disney clone dash YT and press enter again. Okay, so if I go into the folder, we have a components folder and we have global styles in here. We also have shared styles. So when we imported the with style component, it has given us an example. So all I want to do now is cd into my disney clone and then yarn dev so this will start on local host for us if i just refresh this and press enter so now you can see it says welcome to next.js and we have a initial render of the next.js page so what we want to do is delete that if we go into pages and index.tsx we have a template here which is what is seen on the page so if we just delete all of this within the container and I am also going to delete the container. So all the styles from shared styles we don't need. So if we delete them and also delete the shared styles file, so delete. And then we will get an error. So I'm just going to render a H1 on here saying Disney plus clone on the home page. And if I save all, so now we have a Disney plus clone page on the home page. So the index.tsx file within the pages folder is always going to be the home page. Uh, the about would be the slash about and so on. We don't need an about.tsx in this build. So I'm going to delete that as well. And we also don't need a card.tsx. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to keep the global styles. I'm going to move this out of the components folder onto the main root directory and update the imports as well so i can clean up everything here we have a home page uh, underscore document dot tsx this is where the style components gets initialized and rendered so i'll just keep that as is and we have an app dot tsx page here where we have a default theme being rendered a global style within the theme provider and then all our components fall within this what I also want to do is I just want to remove the colors property from the theme. So we have direct access to the theme when we get props. And now if I go into the type of theme, so if I press command and click through, I can see the interface declared here. So I just need to update that as well. So delete the colors object. So we now have direct access to the primary and secondary colors. And if I save all and refresh, we just need to update the styles within the component. We also need to update the styles in the global styles.tsx. So where I deleted colors, it is now just theme.primary. So now that is all of the style components section complete. We just need to create the folder structure. So we have a components folder. We have a pages folder, a public folder where we will import our images and our video so I'm just going to copy them across now and import them into public because we will be using these later on in the project I am also going to be creating a new folder for the types so our typescript types 
So if you click on that and type in types, and there's one final thing to do on the setup is in our TS config JSON, we want to set strict to true. So we want to actually catch the bugs and make the most of TypeScript. So now if I save and restart my app, so yarn dev, we can now get started on the build.